Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Farhan Tahir. I'm a rheumatologist. Today I'm going to discuss with you about gut health and uh, chances of development of rheumatoid arthritis if your GI health is in poor shape. Our GI system is home to trillions of microorganisms. These microorganisms are mostly beneficial bacteria that maintain good health um, in our system. They also control and influence many other systems within our body, including immune system and even our genetic uh, material. The balance of these immune cells and the GI cell wall integrity is important for us to maintain a good health and reduce inflammation in the body. But if this ecosystem is disturbed because of either medications uh, such as antibiotics or excessive use of anti-inflammatory medicines, processed food, uh, antigenic heavy um, GMO food, they will trigger inflammation and create a condition called dysbiosis, which is essentially leakage of our intestinal contents through the uh, porous permeability of the cell wall in the intestines. This leads to development of inflammation, uh, triggers immune cells that create antibodies, and a cascade of inflammatory reactions happen and we develop uh, many diseases, including rheumatoid arthritis. To prove that, there's been studies looked at uh, treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, which actually try to maintain the uh, microbiome and also help with reducing inflammation in GI system, such as sulfasalazine, doxycycline, and studies have also proven that if you take probiotics and prebiotics, you'll be able to control your joint pain and inflammation. The studies suggest that eating anti-inflammatory diet rich in omega-3, olive oil, vegetables, plant-based diet is the best way to increase your uh, healthy microbiome and maintain a good balance. So I would highly recommend you to explore your diet options and make your best efforts to improve your GI health so that you can prevent many other diseases. I hope you will find this useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel for pain, inflammation, and arthritis-related autoimmune diseases.